块。Hello and welcome. Today, we take a trip back to that cultural bastion of purity, the Mary Sue,、uh, to discuss、uh, an interview with Margot Robbie and Vogue, and、uh, set photos that reveal her <laughs> as less revealing. Margot Robbie promises less male gazey look for Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey. This article is brought to us by Kate Gardner, which is.、Uh, One of the more reasonable members of this trash tier site, and we'll go ahead and explore. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn is one of the DC EU's most beloved characters, but her initial design in Suicide Squad was problematic, to say the least. It might have been a Halloween costume staple, but it's not necessarily the most feminist of getups. It's looking like that will change, though, given the first looks revealed of her Birds of Prey costumes, and we have the female creatives behind the scenes to thank for that. A recent story with Vogue, Birds of Prey costume designer Aaron Benach, Benach, short,、sure, said, "That's what happens when you have a female producer, director, and writer." Robbie agreed, adding, "Yeah, it's definitely less male gazey." Hmm. Is that right? Featuring a sheer shirt that reads "Daddy's Little Monster" and tiny shorts over fishnets and heeled boots. The older costume fell into a male gaze trap. This is not helped by camera angles lingering on Harley's rear、uh, and legs in the outfit. <laughs> Now,、uh, as if these、uh, new outfits don't fall into that trap, as you saw,、um, you know, I, I think we're still getting some some butt angles, <laughs> and thankfully so.、Uh, continuing, costume designer Kate Hawley is credited with the work. But it was director David Ayer's decision to use Harley's look to objectify her. It didn't help that her main motives in the film were centered around her abusive boyfriend, the Joker. Hmm. Because that's not <laughs> that's not DC canon or anything.、Uh, this brings us to the age-old retort brought on by trolls, which is, "How can you shame a woman for what she's wearing if you're supposed to be a feminist?" While women. <laughs> <laughs> While real women can actively choose what to wear, fictional women are often put in skimpy costumes for the purpose of making them appealing to male audiences. They can't actively choose their own costume because surprise, they're not real. And examining the motives of those who did make those choices is perfectly valid. Now,、um, I don't know about the rest of you, but this ad for Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowl. Um, is really catching my male gaze. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Never mind.、Uh, yeah, so that's you know that's an age-old tactic. It's marketing. It's sales.、Um, yeah, men like asses. <laughs> They like the, the, the female form, and it's used to、uh, to bring men in. Now, I was hoping when I first caught word of this,、uh, you know, the new outfit changes and all that, that would be going back to the classic Harley Quinn. Black and red, you know, jester outfit. But、uh, I don't see any signs of that in the new、uh, outfit roster. It's just a bunch of,、um, you know, still still slutty, but、um, maybe a little less slutty outfits.、Um, yeah, here we'll go ahead and take a look at a few more of these. I'd say they're still kind of using、uh, Margot Robbie's sexiness as a draw here. 
Uh, the new outfits aren't that much uh, better <laughs> as far as uh, concern regarding the male gaze, in my opinion. Now, continuing, Harley's new outfits are gorgeous and attractive, and yet it doesn't feel like Harley is posing for the camera or dressing up for a male character. I, I disagree. <laughs> I completely disagree. Um, those costumes are still out there and vibrant, but she looks like she can actually kick ass in them without falling out of her shorts. Um, no, no, not really. Uh, some, some of them, yes. But uh, especially the one with the, you know, the pink top and the, the cut up uh, <laughs> frills. <laughs> Those shorts look, still look pretty losable. Uh, we don't know enough about the film to say if her motives will be better, but the subtitle, The Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, all but guarantees that her motives are a little less Joker-centric. Probably. I mean, well, this is female empowerment after all. This is where having female creatives behind the scenes really helps. A female director and writer, with the help of a female producer, can navigate pitfalls there. <laughs> Kathy Yan is clearly shooting Harley through the female gaze. I, again, I disagree. Um, you know, my eyes are, are still drawn to certain points there. I don't know about the rest of you dudes out there. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I disagree. She's not a sex object, but a fully realized character. <laughs> right, right. We'll still get the Harley Quinn fans uh, adore... Wait, wait, what? We'll still get the Harley Quinn fans adore based on set leaks. Is that supposed to be we adore? We'll still get the Harley Quinn fans we adore. I think that's what we're going for here. Based on set leaks, but we won't have to deal with her being just a male fantasy. Instead, she'll probably trend more towards a female power fantasy. Well, that's kind of, you know, you can be both. She really was both in the first Suicide Squad, as shitty as that movie was. Uh, yeah, Birds of Prey will be released next year. I can't wait to see how they undo the damage done to Harley by Suicide Squad and to see her as a fully realized character rather than an object for the camera to lust after. So there we have it. There's the story. Before we uh, quit, though, um, I just want to bring to your attention a sponsored link here. This is a sponsor of the Mary Sue Health News. 88 years old and he gets hard and lasts long. He started taking this and had more energy than a college student. He was keeping me up all night. I can't believe how big he still gets. Uh, presumably speaking about Clint Eastwood here, poor fella. Uh, if you click on this link, which I unfortunately did, uh, it brings you to this uh, phony Fox News site, as you can see at the top, trendinghealthnews.life slash Clint. Uh, they're just trying to sell um, hard-on pills, basically. <laughs> so... Uh, this is what you get. This is the sponsor of the Mary Sue. Um, female empowerment and uh, boner pills. So, yeah, there we have it. Thank you, Kate Gardner, for your uh, brilliant insight. And thank you all for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And uh, have a great weekend. Peace.